Hello everyone, my name is Kate Crafted, and welcome back to a bit of a different video. Basically today I'm doing a Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial. So as you can see, I'm in Pocket Edition version 11, which is a new update, so if you haven't got that yet, um, you can head over to the Play Store. And all you want to do to get that is search Minecraft. So, go to the Minecraft, uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, and then if, as you can see, um, Apparently there's an update available, I won't do that now, but if you've already got the game, you can update it. And I'm pretty much here. So one of the big things in this new version is skins. So if I press um, this button here and go to this tab right here, you can see we can now be Alex, we can be Steve. There's a bit of a messed up thing that I was trying to do earlier. And we also have skin packs. So we can go into the City Folk skin pack. And there's a bunch of skins here. Some of them you have to pay for, like this baker, as you can see. You need to uh, buy that for 79p. So I don't want to buy anything. Um, but yeah, you can choose from the free skins or buy well, yeah, skins. But one of the coolest things is you can now have your own Minecraft skin. So how if you don't have a skin already, um, if you don't play like PC and you haven't already designed yourself a skin, you can go over to the minecraftskins.net and on this website there are loads of different Minecraft skins for you to choose from. So let's just choose this skin at the top here. We're going to hit download, not edit or change. Well, you can edit the skin, but we want to download that. And as you can see, uh, for some reason the download was unsuccessful. What? Let's try that again. Why is my downloads... Okay, there we go. I managed to get to download. For some reason, they weren't working. But anyway, so once you've found a skin you like, you can browse through that. You want to go back to Minecraft, click the settings, go to the skin tab, and click browse. Or well, it says custom for me, but I'm actually I'm not sure. So click the, click the browse button, whatever. I can't remember exactly what it says before you change the skin the first time. Then you're going to want to go to Downloads, or wherever you saved your skin to. And there is that skin file, so I'm going to click that. And you can choose whether to have thin arms, like on the Alex player model, or the normal thicker arms, like the Steve player model. So I'm going to choose the thick arms, because that's what that skin was made like. And there we go. So now, if I hop into a Minecraft world here... Let's go into the survival world. And as you can see, there we go. I now have the skin. Just wait for the world to go up. So there we go. So I can walk around and stuff. And sorry about that. Okay. And yeah, so you can see I have the skin. If I go to there, there's the skin. Yes, I'm now a girl in Minecraft apparently. And I can go in the third person view and yay. So yeah, and other people can see your skin. So let me just show you. If I hop onto the LBSG servers here. Um, if I hop onto this, you can see um, that there will be other people with skins, so you can everyone can see your skin. It's not like the older like mods that you could use to do this before. Everyone can see your skin. Okay, that took a long time to load, but as you can see, it's kind of laggy here, but there are lots of different people with their own skins and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft videos on both the PC version and Pocket Edition. And I will see you next time. Bye!